is he so such an advocate for change and like oh, I can't think of the right word but then he's like shunning his sister I don't get that because he's trying to he loved his sister's theatre uh, I mean his sister uh, directed plays as you probably know uh, and quite unusual plays mm -hmm. um, and uh, and he used to go I mean he didn't see many of them because they were mainly in in London. But he wrote to her about them and 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 was you know really genuinely interested in them. It was only towards the end of her life um, when she was really taken over by these other women, uh, and he they were they were living in Ellen Terry's house. You know, it was a very sad situation, and and uh, and he just found it, it it's quite impossible. He virtually broke off with her for the last few years of of his life only. Uh, but uh, no, they were they were. He loved his sister. Who would you say the most important woman in his life was? There is one woman who is absolutely crucial uh, to and who remained faithful to him throughout his entire life, and her name was Eleanor. Mayo, Eleanor Mayo, M-E-O. She was an Italian and he met her when she was 18 and she was a violin student at um, London Music College um, and they fell in love uh, and they lived together for a short time and they had two children. Uh, so they were called Teddy and Nellie and uh, Eleanor Mayo uh, was really uh, his common law wife. Uh, for long periods during his life, uh, she lived with Craig and her children, uh, and she went over to Italy and lived with him in Italy, uh, and uh, outlived him by a year or two, uh, and she was magnificent. She helped him uh, in some of his schemes. She acted as a secretary uh, and uh, again she brought up these two delightful children. Now those children, uh, Teddy uh, and Nellie, were his favourite children. Uh, and um, Nellie was looked after him when he was a very old man and was with him when he died in his 90s. Uh, and Teddy uh, was, he hoped that Teddy was going to become his assistant and Teddy helped with the printing of the Cranach Press Hamlet so he was in Weimar uh, with Craig uh, in the pr printing of that famous book uh, and um, but he found his father just a little bit too demanding uh, and so he fell in love with a delightful woman and he got married fairly young too, uh, rather more successfully than his father, uh, and, um, uh, and so consequently separated but never, uh, never lost touch with his father. Uh, and um, he was, a, Teddy was a great designer for films. So he, he, he called himself Edward Carrick, Edward Carrick, uh, and he was a very gifted, gifted uh, man himself. And in fact, I knew Teddy very well as an old man he, he, he and I met and that's one of the reasons why Eton has got this marvellous Craig collection because most of it uh, belonged to Teddy uh, and uh, we acquired it from Teddy.